fair, he generated that while he was sleeping. He fell asleep. Wait, did he activate overnight on the thing? On he the he fell asleep. Yeah, he fell asleep at his keyboard. So when Chabby and I popped in, um, I tried talking to him a couple times, and Arojo was like, "Yeah, he'll be asleep. It's two in the morning or whatever, seven in the morning or something." I'm like, "Okay, fair enough." So Chabby and I kicked him off the server, but by that point he had generated so much iron that he was like, "Yeah, I'm not gonna sell this. I'm just gonna give it away." All right, what do you think? Should I do anything with the ceiling in my nether wart farm, or should I leave it just plain flat stone? Mm, plain flat stone is not the prettiest thing. Yeah, I was thinking I, I wanted to do something with it. I'm not sure what yet. Is this enough space? Every time I every time I decide to expand this room, I get more diamonds. Okay, nice flex. That's three times in a row now that I've been like, oh, I need to expand the room one block that way. Boof. Hit diamonds. Now I'm peeling the ceiling like we were just talking about, and there's diamonds one, one block away. She will never talk to me again while going through the drive through and I know that. She had you on speakerphone, did she? <laughs> no, not this time. She actually, well, she won't. She, <laughs> she's tested it. She's like, can you behave? I'm like, of course I can. But I did didn't. the whole thing that I was telling you about. Yeah, I didn't behave, of course. Do you remember telling you the Dan one? Um, No. He was going through and he was talking with me. I'm like... Cart wants coffee now. <laughs> and the girl just kind of stops as she looks at him and he's like, yeah. I'm like, hurry up. And he's like, and he's yelling at the car to shut. Yelling at the car to shut up. After that, she hasn't. She's been very leery about trusting me. And there was one time she went through and I did something stupid. She's like, yeah, nope. Wouldn't be so sad for her. Ah, she knew what she was getting into. Yep, can't deny that. She'd be stupid to deny that. So, did you love Aroha's reaction this morning when we were waiting for you to find the spot and I took her down one of my tunnels? She's like, Oh, this is a chabby. Mm -hmm. <laughs> this is how you do things. Like you said, you could always go back and reclaim the torches. Oh. How are you so tired? Isn't it like lunchtime for you? It's 9 a.m. 
Not even close to lunch. Got it. Mm. Say 9 a.m.? Yeah, 9 a.m. I'm only an hour away from Technically. Yeah, it's quarter after seven here, so. I thought you were in Denmark. No, he's in South America. I have a plan to crash the economy and... Uh... Why does this remind me of a cartoon that I used to watch? Just because of his name. Hmm. What's the cartoon name again? Let me see if I... Myself. Your country? Something about... The... No. The cartoon's name. Something oh, the about... Cartoon. Taking over a world, rat. It reminds me of that. Are you talking about Pinky in the Brain? Pinky in the Brain. Yeah, yeah, I'm talking about Pinky in the Brain. What are we gonna do tonight, Dwayne? Same thing we do every night, Pinky. Try to take over the world. Hey, in our defense, we used that reference earlier tonight. We did. We just used that reference not that long ago. It's kind of funny that it was brought up again. Things have a funny way of circling around like that. Yeah. There we go. Do 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 do. Yeah, big question though. What's that? Biggest question. Who was actually the smart one between the pink and the brain? The brain. I mean, like, he was smart, but the pinky was, like, wise. Pinky? Like, he. Yeah, pinky had, like, street smarts, um. Whereas brain was. Brain was all, like, book learning by comparison. Pinky. Ah, uh, uh, my childhood. Actually, not my childhood, but fun guy. My childhood was Ducktales. You're a gold nugget. Oh, thanks. Compliment. <laughs> No, I was giving Jimmy a hard time calling him Gold Nugget. Because he said his uh, gold farm produces a, a lot of gold nuggets per hour. So, inevitably, I had to call him a Gold Nugget. I'm actually be getting gold farms and iron farms now. I'm going to up my game. Is anyone selling leather in the market? No. Leather is very rare on any server. Yeah, not not that I've seen. Wolf was selling it at one point. Yeah, I bought it all. But yeah, it, it disappeared fairly quickly. Okay, good then. Nope. The real question is, so, what was he selling? Yeah, it's not even showing in the shop anymore because it's gone. So I can't even check what he was selling it for. Hey. 
So were you successful there, digital, at getting that stuff out of the folder? Uh, yep, I did the download. I would really recommend um, the next generation stuff without the beginning and the end all cut off. I think you might really enjoy watching through it. I really did. I might use it as a thing to watch when I'm going to sleep. But I've re I've tried watching it relatively recently and found that it's just it's just not not as good as I remember it. Not as good as it was first time around. Yeah, it, well, it was my first time around. Like I, the only one I had watched was Voyager on TV. So. Oh yeah. And then gone through all seven seasons of that. So. But going through this, I actually really enjoy it. And to be honest, as much as I like Voyager, I think I would put the next generation above it. No, the, the writing for Voyager was as inconsistent as it was from one minute to the next because they were constantly changing writers. It was, it was still pretty universally accepted as better quality than... Earlier season, earlier shows like uh, Next Generation. I don't know all the qualifications that go into this comparison, a, but a little bit more consistency, maybe. But yeah, it definitely had more consistency than the way that they kept bouncing Janeway around. But but at least they did that as a consistency thing. Like it wasn't just. One time she did this, and then oh, screw the directive, or you know, now the directive kind of thing, right? Oh you no, know, with with her, it literally was just the two different writing teams that had two wildly different ideas, and so they're... I hate to say it though, it gave that. But I hate to say it though, it gave it that woman mentality behind it. Careful. I'm not saying that in a bad way. I'm or at least saying, I'm not trying to. I'm not saying careful in a bad way, but I'm still saying it. Uh, shows. There, how's that? Is that better, Mushy? What? The ceiling in here? Oh, I guess you're not, you're not looking at it, are you? Yeah, I switched off the, because I was looking at the tutorial, the tutorial on how to build the iron. Okay. <laughs> Say it again. It's a little challenging. Yeah. No, I like the way it came across. That the sound is not something we use in my language. It's just like muffle. That th sound not something we use it's the same problem that um, French speakers have with words like cherry or cherub or chair they don't have that hard ch so for them it comes out like sherry the ch in online is also different but chair and cherry was Easier to, much easier to say than, I still can't say motor correctly. How did you okay. change yours to a gold bar? Sneaky, sneaky. Uh-huh. He's a special boy. I'm a special boy. I wear special pants. Oh, well, okay. You need to unlock all of the things. Sorry, you were both speaking at the same time. What was that, Chevy? I said, uh, Mushy's got a different block as well. Oh, yeah, that's because I have all my slots unlocked. Yeah, it just depends on how many, how many slots are unlocked. Well, what are you guys up to? I've been thinking about doing more. I only 
Because uh, I don't have enough room for even the potions I've been making. Um, he's got all of them unlocked, so that's the the thing, the icon that you get for cities uh, at 54, or probably close to it. I don't know if he stopped to check it all the way along. Stop to check what? What your icon was. I don't. I don't know if you stopped to actually see what it was at. No. Fifty-two. I so. just spam. Yeah. I just found another stack of glass and put it up in the market if you want. Yeah, it's gonna get bought. I was just letting you know it was there. All right. So. Um. You can. You you put it for one, right? Put it for. Uh, let's see, oh, it's 100,000. 100 a piece. You want the glass to be at 100 a piece? Only that stack. Okay. Just because I, I need you to get buy more slots, more potions in your stuff, more pit <laughs> potions. Okay, I got it, yeah. Yeah, somebody. Th uh, I don't know the difference between French toast and normal toast. What's the difference? French toast is dipped in eggs and then fried in a frying pan. And normal toast, you just put in a toaster and it comes out whatever shade of toasted you you set it to. Like, so French toast is just bread with eggs. It's, it's, yeah, it's been dipped in eggs and then fried in a frying pan to cook so, the eggs up. Most people yeah, will just, then put syrup and butter on it. A lot of, uh, well, b butter maybe, maybe not, but a lot of people put syrup on it. Some people put, uh, sprinkle, like, icing sugar on it. Um, cinnamon. Sometimes cinnamon. Um, some people that add stuff to really help, the, yes. Well, well, yeah, it's French. No French cuisine was ever made to be healthy. Um, some, oh, but get this out. Some people add um, milk and vanilla and sugar and various other things to the batter that they dip the toast in. So yeah, yeah. there's not a lot of syrup. Here. Um, there is syrup, but we don't use it like that. Yeah, in North America, it's it's more common to put syrup on on a variety of things. Um, yeah, sure, Jimmy. It's it's not as common in Canada as it is in the states, but in the states, like you, you can fucking put syrup on anything, and, and people don't people don't question it. They won't look twice at you. Yeah, yeah it's it's kind of crazy the stuff that they'll bring you syrup for in a restaurant. If you're eating in a they, restaurant, they don't bring stuff. it to you. They just have it on the table. Oh no! Sometimes if you order some things, they'll bring syrup with it, and you're like. Why did they bring, why maybe, did they bring me syrup with a with different, hamburger? Different idea of syrup. Isn't syrup just like sugary, thick, like a viscous sugar? Thick sugary goo, yeah. Why the fuck would you put that on something you already cooked with sugar in it? Because in, in, America, in America, they like their diabetes and obesity. I get put it on cake. Pancakes works. Normal cake works. But yeah, oh, it's... shit, my toast stopped. Be right back. Okay. <laughs> Where the hell did the glass go? I pulled it out of the market and went to go reprice it, and it disappeared. It should be in your inventory. And you would think so, yes. Well, no, that's awesome. where it puts it. If you didn't have space for it, it just drops it on the floor. Hey, Jimmy. No, I got space for it. Okay. You're, you're wrong about Americans. We love our diabetes and obesity, not just like it. Yeah, I was trying to be generous, but it, I know it's... It's all being polite. Yeah, I didn't, I didn't want to just be like, yeah, Americans are fat motherfuckers who all want to die from hypersugarism. I wouldn't, I, I wouldn't be offended by that, because that's the truth. It is, and it's kind of sad that that's the truth, 
because I mean, there's a, an entire generation that's already pre-diabetic or diabetic, and that's I mean, that's not even an exaggeration at this point. Everyone says I need to eat more when I'm normal weight, and they're like 800 pounds. I kid you not. Yeah. Well, not the 800 pounds part, but like 300 pounds. Mm -hmm. I'm a I'm like, I'm five nine and I'm one hundred and fifty five pounds. That's a little light for that height, maybe, but it really depends on your build. If you've got a skinny frame, that's fine. If you've got a wide frame, then you're underweight. So what? Yeah, I'm I'm just kind of a string bean. Yeah, there's nothing wrong with being a little lighter. You can always gain weight by neglecting your your diet and exercise. And you know, join the fat losing club. weight, the pain in the ass. Losing weight is much harder. I have naturally fast metabolism, so I burn calories extremely quickly. Yeah, enjoy it while it lasts. Yep, you live yeah. the age where it changes. One day, eventually, it'll change on you. But you know, the fact that you don't eat horrible, fatty, awful shit. Uh, well, that's a good start for not dying young. So yeah, I don't I don't work out much, but I don't eat crap. Yeah, and that's I mean it's just such a simple thing. Just uh, don't load idea. up, don't load up on the garbage, and then you can you can go a little easier on the exercise side of things. You and you won't like work up a sweat walking upstairs. Moving my mouth, thank you. <laughs> I don't I don't go to the gym, but I have elliptical in my office. Oh, yeah. And I go on that for about 10 minutes every day. Yeah, I mean, even just a little something like that, get the circulation going, and that's often enough to offset the stuff you're eating. 10 minutes on it only burns like 50 calories, which. It's still good for the circulation, though. Yeah. Alright, I want to put mending on. These things. The glass might have been a symbolism for what I was selling it at, because okay, I don't know where it went. Yeah, it is not here. Weird. By the way, Digital, what are you going to do with King Skelly's armor? Going to put it the on an armor stand. Because I'm getting some King Zombie armor in later. Nope, that's not his name. I need to think of a better name. That sounds like something a four-year-old would come up with. <laughs> not gonna lie, I was thinking it rather loudly. It's not the best name I've ever heard. All right, this is my silk touch. What about Lord Flesh Muncher? <laughs> How about the decayed lord? That's pretty or good. The lord of decay. Mm hmm. Lord, yeah, those are both good. Hmm. Chibbles, digital, you have any ideas? Something to do with you the, the, the decay. You, you can even just call it the, the, the decayed leggings, the decayed boots, the decayed chest. Is that the, the clear armor? armor? Oh, yeah, that would like probably work. When I didn't know who would get that up, reference. <clears throat> when this set is fully equipped, it gives you the decay. Um, it gives you the decay buff, which when you hit something, it wither speed things. Hey, that's that's the idea. Call that in. Is there an enchantment that can do that? No, no, no. There's not. Hmm. Cool but that would us. be sick. Yeah, you can't even make potions that do wither at this time. Uh, that's Bedrock Edition only. Oh. You didn't know that? No, I did not know that. Yeah, I was I looking didn't into know it. it, worked, it. Yep, I, was, I was looking into it the other day. I was curious. I only know that the wither can wither, wither skeleton can, can wither, and what are the other things? Yeah, with the roses. Um, in one point, 
16 because it's the nether update i really hope at the last second they add that wither skeletons can drop their swords and that and there's an enchantment for the wither yeah like even Are if you even if they were not repairable that. and not enchantable that you just wore them you just use them up that would still be cool use them until they broke because they're a stone sword yeah exactly Don't think they would add that. That's a completely break all PvP. Because Twitter does not care about your armor, I believe. Just does take damage. Or is that poison? Poison doesn't care about your armor. I don't think Wither, uh, I don't think it matters to Wither either. Oh, and then I'm going to manufacture some god tier diamond armor. And the whole set will probably be about 15,000. Probably higher than that. Probably like 25,000 because god tier diamond armor. What Reasonable. classifies as god tier diamond armor? What do you want on that? Unbreaking, mending, fire protection. Protection. Let me check on the wiki. Or, well, let me just see what classifies God Terror yeah, Armor. Yeah. I know. You won't be I able know. to do protection and fire protection. It's either or on those. Yeah. I think you just go with basic yeah, protection because that kind of covers everything. Yeah. So, pretty much armor that we have. Digital, what, what armor are you rocking? Um, you also don't seem to die, so. Nothing terribly fancy. Uh, give me one second, I'll check. Just throwing a bunch of stuff in boxes here. Well, I'll be damned. That was the wrong thing to purchase. What did you purchase? Apparently, the rental shop thing or whatever it's called. Oh, the top slot thing? That's It's only 750 bucks, so... Apparently I have 42 weeks now. Oh, no. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Shit. Okay, um, put something in general chat. I've got a helmet that gives me Aqua Affinity, Protection 4, and Respiration 3. Um... And there's nothing else on my chest plate, leggings, or boots. It's just mending. They all have protection? No, just the... Just the helmet. Huh. I thought you were rocking, like... Good, really good stuff. But, here's the, here's the deal. Nope, if I'm you buy it... If you buy every set of armor, you get an extremely good sword for free. Yeah. All right, Mushies, no worry. I'm up to 28 slots. You could become a good salesman. So potions and arrows, tipped arrows to come soon. Oh, I don't know about that, those tipped arrows. You, so I don't think it's worth it. Essentially, expensive to make. Yeah, they really essentially, are expensive to make, you're right. Essentially, the sword would be sharpness 5, smite, if you can interchange that with um, sharpness 5. You can't do Sweep. both. Yeah, yeah you can't do both. Over. Sweeping edge 3, looting 3, unbreaking 3, and mending. Interesting. Okay, I'm gonna tell you what I have on my sword. Loot, looting three, mending, sharpness five, sweeping edge three, unbreaking three. You could also add fire aspect. I don't like fire aspect because if you hit a zombie and it hits you, you get lit on fire. Yeah. Yeah, I'll agree with that. Been there, done that. 
set myself on fire a few times that way. So annoying. Don't know why they made it, made it like that. Well, it makes sense though, right? If if somebody's on fire yeah, and they come it hug you. Yeah, makes sense, but you're playing a blocky game. It's not supposed <laughs> to make sense. Yeah, I know. It's not supposed to be full of realism. All right, I'm gonna grind the enchant off of you guys. You can stay. I can't fix you yet. So with this chorus flower, what do I do? Just set the block down, and it will. Um, you just plop it on some end stone and it will grow. Put it on. Plop it down. And... Yeah, put it on on end stone and uh, it'll turn into a thing. Oh, my anvil's broke. Shit. Well, then I will need end stone from someone at some point. Yeah, I can bring you some. Uh, there's there's a little. I have some on me, so no, if okay. you if you want to if you want to run it over there, that'd be cool. If not, I'll do it in a second and just. Grinding enchantments off of a thing. I don't know where his base is, and okay. he won't like be placed on a teleporter. Reasonable. Okay, I need gold to fix this. I don't really want to fix those, because they're leather. Oh, Alright, I've got the leather, I'll fix them. Have you complete have you guys completed the entire um Minecraft tab of the advan advancements? I'm gonna be real with you, I have no idea. Oh. It's a bit it's cool. Um it seems I still need to do honey. Those guys oh, so yeah, I, I asked um, Digital for some of his honey so I could do that one, and he said he was working on a project. Project Maximum Obesity. Wah. You also haven't been very nice to Digital, let's clarify. That is true. That is true. <laughs> At least he admits <laughs> it. He it. That's more than I expected. <laughs> I expected a denial at least. Um, I have no, I have no filter. Yeah, I still don't understand why you, you, and I quote, would rather give your money to Jimmy, who has the most money on the server, than give it to me. That one was, that one was a little confusing to both me and uh, Chabby. So, with your lack of filter, what did he do? Because you're an overprivileged moderator. Um, I'm an admin and a moderator. That makes it even worse. Why then you should at least make... Oh, th that's true. At least you should make a Aurora a moderator if you've become an admin. She's been here way way longer than any of us have. Was our, uh, yeah. But There's... she dies too often. She dies way too often. That's true. She's, yeah, she's still learning how to basic game. We've almost got her to the point of lighting all her cave explorations well enough that stuff can't spawn behind her in corner. Who, what was the order of people who joined the game? Uh, Wolf, me, Chibbles, Aroha. At the same time, yeah. Yeah. And was it me? Or was there someone before me? No, I think there was someone else after Aroha. There was Stance Strife? Stance Strife, Zook, um, Cal and Ray. They weren't before them. No, I thought they were I thought they were on when uh, Jimmy and Paul first showed up. No, J Jimmy and Paul were first. Were they they were before Cal and Ray? Okay. Yeah. I know Stance and Zook were in before uh, before Jimmy, they were they were in briefly just to get the server connection up, verify they had it right. Um, and I think Stan's wandered off and figured out where he was going to settle, but that was about it. I'm pretty oh, sure that. I'm okay, now that person. now that we have those, who is the most active on the server? Mm, probably. Me. Probably me. Me. 
I doubt it. Yeah, but Mushy, you showed up way after I did. Hey, I don't, I don't think I'm you're. Richer. I don't think you're as active. Too. I don't think you're as active on the server as I am. Honestly, I there are some days when yeah. I put in put in twelve hours. Hey, you guys are looking at active active. Now you should look at who's the richest. If it was, if everything was determined by wealth, then um, Donald then Trump is the right person to be running America. Then we'd have um, the USA, mm -hmm. which is stinky. Stinky poo-poo. At the very least right now, it's in need of some serious revision. Oh, yeah. Who did we determine was the most active? Because I'd like to throw my name in for that. I would say I'm probably the most active. There are some nights when you aren't here, but I'm here at least five nights a week because that's what I do. Life. Yeah. Yeah, but if I hit four to the five, and then I do it on the weekend as well. He makes a good what point because I... I'm on on the weekends a lot too. First, I need to know why do you guys? Why are you guys debating on who's the most active again? We're trying serious. to find. We're trying to find a new moderator. <laughs> do you need more than a stack of that endstone? I've got a few. If you wanted more, uh, Jebby. He needs one piece. I know. One thing. <laughs> But I brought him a stack. Why that? This this war th this server is eventually going to culminate into a war. Thank you for the stack, which I will win. Where I suck at PvP, but I'm way better at redstone than probably most of you. Yeah, but I have better gear, so I win. Hmm. Well, in all fairness, it's not a competition. It's a matter of enjoying the server. We should do that, though. The Olympics. Or, like, build swap. That would be cool. Oh, yeah, a little, a little fun community night. Yeah, would be fun. Like, really, all we're proving is, like, who's on the longest is who has the most time to waste in their life. So, really, the winner... You really... You make a good point. <laughs> is it really wasted, though, if, it, if it's spent in Minecraft? I feel like it's not. Yeah. I... My, I would say it's not time wasted if you enjoyed it. I'll agree with that. I'll agree with that. I'm closer to calling my time in Ark a waste some days. Because, you know, <laughs> Ark, Ark is frustrating as fuck on a regular basis. But watching you guys play it is some of the most entertaining Twitch Oh, yeah, 100%. Do in a while. Such a clusterfuck that game is. I have no idea what Ark even is about. Ark is... This fun little game I, where you collect, you, you tame dinos and get them to do your, your bidding. And try not to get eaten by other dinos. And if you're on a public server, you try to also not get fucked in the ass by various other players. Because most of the community ass is players. The same community that makes Rust so unplayable also happen to play Ark, largely. But it's a survival game. You're supposed to kill the other player. No, I'm talking about people that are... What's the word I'm looking you for? You could call Minecraft that and we all play friendly like. Yeah, Minecraft doesn't have to be pl doesn't have to be play friendly. We happen to be playing it friendly. But um, no, the, the, the kind of toxic I'm referring to isn't just, oh, you know, they killed me and took my stuff. I'm talking about... Um, People, oh, that, people, that, bad that people that get uh, go out of their way to follow you and, Find and your dest base. destroy your base every single time you relocate and build. They're not necessarily even taking your stuff. They're just breaking everything that you've you've made. It's basically <clears throat> basically what would constitute as griefing in a Minecraft uh -huh. world. It's not Sounds very, very unpleasant. Yeah, it's not very it's not very conducive to new players sticking around. Whereas with Minecraft, you know, if if you don't want to if you don't want to put up with that shit, you don't have to. There's plenty of places you can go where that's called griefing, and you know you you can prevent that. I'm not one of those people that was raised that you know. 
games should all be friendly and there should be nobody left out and nobody eliminated and blah blah blah. Hearts, rainbows, and butterflies. That's yeah, that's that's Chabby. No, that's what Chabby was raised on. That's what I'm saying. That's that's Chabby that was raised that way. I have something of a middle ground where if you want to be able to build something, it shouldn't be a race to build it, take a quick picture of it, because next time you log out, someone's going to fuck it up. Everyone knows Monopoly, right? Yep. That make game it, is make, for losing sure friends. For well, it's not too Two games, in my experience, that I'd say are the most toxic are League of Legends and Overwatch. And see, I know some people that play Overwatch, and they have a great time. It's not, you know, it's not the, the shitty toxic thing like I've heard. I've heard from a bunch of people that it's, you know, it's a miserable game to play, and all the people that play it are dickheads. I've never actually seen that in any of the people that I've watched play it, which is kind of weird. In League of Legends, if you're new, you're bound to be just pelted with insults and yeah. Just get victimized. Yeah. Is um, I did a random party and I matched up with this um, this team of three. One guy had just started playing, and the other two were like veterans playing since it came out. And I'm kind of the middle ground. I've been playing for about six months or so. Mm-hmm. So he says, um, hi, this is my first game. Um, if you want to teach me, uh, can I said, yeah, sure. And everyone else just kind of victimized him. And it was not good. It, it feels bad even when you're not the person. Yeah. You feel bad for them. Well, because we've all been there, right? We've all played a game where yeah. we're like, oh, yeah, this looks like it might be fun. And then other, peop other people literally are the, the worst part of the game. The game. It's understandable. Was it ranked? Were they playing ranked? Was it a ranked game, Jimmy? No, it was just um one of the random team match. Yeah. Okay, that's not cool, but if it was a run game, perfectly understand somebody saying they're new, you're getting pissed. Yeah, there's there's lots of games like that where the community is literally the worst part. And I don't know. I mean when I when I buy when I buy a game, I buy it as an escape from reality. I'll be back in a few. Okay. I buy it as an escape from reality, not to be an extension of the kind of frustrating bullshit that I don't like about reality. I mean, I don't get I don't get bullied right now. It's not like it's you know uh, I'm a high school kid who gets bullied and then I go online and I get bullied some more. I'm well past the point of high school and all that bullshit. But it doesn't mean I have to like seeing that kind of crap when I'm playing a game online. It's I mean it's just it's just generally poor sportsmanship that 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 comes across as like you know if you've beaten someone. Enjoy the victory. Move on with your life. You don't have to like stand there and, and teabag their corpse because that's you know that's no it must that that must be done. Teabagging is is a is a way of you. life. I'll teabag you. In general, I'll 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 prove that World of Tank is one of the worst ones because I was playing two days ago and this happened. Never played World of Tanks, so toxic things that happen in the game do not affect me. But if it's a multiplayer game, it's bound to have some toxic players. That's how life is. Yeah, there's there's no way to there's no way to completely eliminate having toxic players in in a game that's you know it's an online multiplayer. Well, it won't let me send it in general chat, so it was too toxic. It's so toxic that the filter's getting it. Okay. Essentially, what it is it was 
you play like shit. So one person says, you play like shit. And then the other person does the signature sad face. And then there's, and then it says, you should go Holocaust. Uh, oh, shoot. What was it? Let me look at the image. I can't remember. Now it looks like really no. other ones that say, that say something around your parents. Now I look like an idiot. Can't remember what it said. Nothing changed. Yeah. You see the same. Too much? Yeah, too much. Yeah, I feel bad <laughs> saying this. I'm not going to say it. Yeah, if it's something that's inappropriate to say in my stream, then it's totally uncalled for in, in the context of a game. It's like, that's what you get when you when you play multiplayer games now, is you get somebody who's compensating for other areas of their life that they suck in, and they're like, oh yeah, I owned you, blah blah blah, you should just go kill yourself, blah blah blah, like, that's, it's cyberbullying is what it amounts to, and it's, it's stupid, like, just fucking get a life. I don't understand why people are why, why humans are such dicks. Yeah, you know, like hey. it's it's weird because there's people that are there's people that are totally totally decent to, to spend time around, and then there's people on the other end of the spectrum that are so fucking unreasonably toxic. It's like, what happened to you? What is what is your explanation? Yeah, I don't understand it. Were they raised like that? Were they, I don't Some of them. I don't I don't get it. Some of them. Some of them, it's, you know how now there's a, a participation trophy for every kid? Nobody nobody goes home and empty-handed after playing a soccer game or whatever. You familiar with this this tradition? Yeah. Okay. I don't, I don't get it. If you did terrible, you shouldn't get a medal. You should get a pat on the back and say, you tried. Yeah, exactly. That's That's how we were raised, but... You know, there was there was a generation of kids that were raised with, you know, you you didn't get a participation trophy. You did your best and you got nothing, and that's just the way it was. And so, maybe some of those kids had parents that were like abusive, verbally or physically abusive, because you're a giant fucking loser. You came home with no trophy. What you know? What's your fucking excuse? You you fucking suck. Blah blah blah. But that's the kind of parenting they got. That's the kind of toxic shit they learned at home. That's exactly the way they're going to behave. Yeah, that makes sense. We, we learn our relationship models from our parents. And so if if mom and dad have an abusive relationship and you're a, you're a little girl, you learn that it's okay for, for your boyfriend to hit you. Or if mom and dad have, you know, a, a, a problem with one of them cheating on the other, you learn that infidelity is just a normal thing and it's totally acceptable because you know that's what mom and dad taught you yeah sure so but, but i mean by a by a biological standpoint homo sapiens are natural team players you're not gonna get anywhere if you if you're not with your if you're not someone el with someone else because they're not homo sapiens fundamentally very strong not fundamentally very agile you, be, you work in groups, but mm -hmm. then there's these people who do the exact opposite thing and try to tear groups apart, and I don't understand. Huh? Hey, people are greedy. People, people suck. I mean, that's, that's the the, like, the cornerstone of the my nice worldview is that there's there's always going to be people out there that suck. I've met a lot of people that were fucking awesome people. I've met a lot of people that were, were pretty shitty people. And so, for the most part, I just try and limit the amount of shitty people that I spend time around. And when I find awesome people, it's like, alright, I will I will maintain contact with this person. They are they are cool to be around. That's all you can really do is uh, con control how much of your time is wasted on the toxic ones. I hope I'm an awesome people. Well, I'm I haven't banned back. you from the server. So... I'm not back, but I have to chime in. 
it really does matter the amount of people that you spend your time with who are the good people and who aren't it's not worth wasting your time for those who are toxic no i have i have started cutting toxic people out of my life. Right. i don't care how much money they've got they're not worth my time life's too short bro if i can get shit out of you then again, if it hurts me, nah, all that shit. It comes, it comes but, at a cost. Yeah, nothing is, nothing is free. If, if you can, hey, if you can depends, get stuff out of a person who's, if the discomfort is more than the comfort of what you can get out of them, it's not worth it. Well, and you've got to also ask yourself, is it something you can live with? Is that, is that the kind of person you want to be? Do you want to At be the, the kind of, of the person day. who's why a user? Must, why must you be morale into this? Because well, it's a relevant thing. you got to be able to look at yourself in the mirror at the end of the day, right? Yeah, at the end of the day, can you turn around to yourself and say, I'm comfortable with what's been done and who I've been a, who, who, by, who I'm friends with? Who I've been a part of. Yeah. Because I don't have, I don't have many friends. Yet. And a lot of them are really toxic, and I'm afraid if I cut them out, then I'm going to be extremely lonely. Hey, it's better to be lonely than to be miserable. Friends. It's if you're if you're gonna be if you're gonna be lonely and, and miserable, or you're going to be with people and miserable, I don't see a huge benefit in spending time with the people that are making you miserable because that's no. I mean that's what they're going to continue to do. influence and toxic, yeah. Yeah, they're going to eventually start to start to influence who you are and how you are. The same as if you're in constant pain, right? If you're in chronic pain because of a, a leg injury from whatever, that's going to affect your personality. So unless that gets fixed, you're Be going to become a more they're going to become a more bitter, jaded, toxic person. Um, harder to be around for other people, etc. You know, that, that's just the way it goes. And the same is same is true of the people you spend your time around. If they're toxic, shitty people, it you can't help but have it affect you. It's just the way it is. Your environment shapes you. Yeah. So I mean, if being if being isolated from those people means that you're lonely and unhappy. At least you have the ability to go online and find people who aren't making you fucking miserable. And who knows? Maybe some of them will turn out to be close enough that you could actually go for a beer with them. Yeah. That's the way I see it. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm not. Um, I wouldn't say go for a beer. Well, you're not, okay. you're not. You're not of drinking age. Is that the problem? Oh, me personally. Yeah. Or you mean Jimmy? No, I meant you. you. The way you said that, it sounded like uh, either you don't like beer or you're not of drinking age, so that's not a, a thing you can do. I don't like do. beer. Yeah, and that's that's fair. It's just a, a, an expression, basically. Like You seem like a cool person. We should spend time together. Yeah, I'm more of a liquor kind of thing. Yeah, I prefer rum, so. I don't drink alcohol in general. Yeah, nothing wrong with that. It makes my stomach feel very bad. Yeah, some of it's really, really hard on the gut. Yeah, Jimmy's, Jimmy's older than he sounds. He's got a, a voice that's a little uh, misleading. Wait. Yeah. Please, please don't tell me this dude is older than Please. Uh, probably. I'm, tw I'm 26. <laughs> Damn! Why do I have to be the youngest one on the server? Yeah, my voice sounds like I'm a ten-year-old. You're, hey, you're being good thing. You're being the youngest doesn't doesn't mean anything, um, because there's lots of times when you get some really fucking good digs in. You get you get some of the funniest funniest shit some days. Like, you know, com oh, comments you make and, and stuff like that. So, you know, there's something to be said for it's the just, quality of it, the it person. Just, wait. It just doesn't feel... It's not nice being the youngest. I don't know. When I was when I was younger, like, you know, a teenager, I tended to hang out with older people because I had more in common with them. I was a lot more mature for my age, and 
I thought people they, my they, age. It's so stupid. Well, my age are stupid. Just when I was in uh, junior year in high school, I I was talking to my friends, and they said, "Hey, you want?" They asked me if I wanted to go skateboarding, and I of course I said no because I have terrible hand-eye coordination and I don't know how to skateboard. <laughs> And when I went home, ah oh, shoot, are you kidding me? I have to do something for work? Well, mm, well, I'll finish up the story tomorrow. I gotta do a work meeting. All right, later, Jimmy. Well, will, will you be? Will you guys still be here in an hour? Hmm, maybe. I'm gonna be finishing up probably about nine o'clock, so that's like an hour from now. <laughs>